the last presentation we did the analysis of clock sequential circuits with D flip flop and in this presentation we will continue the analysis with JK flip flop and I have taken the circuit in which there are two JK flip flops the A and the B these are my two JK flip flops and uh, in this circuit in this sequential circuit you can see there is a uh, input combinational logic but there is no output combinational logic as compared to the last presentation so our task is easier why because we don't have to worry about the output equation the output is simply the output of this two flip-flops that's why we don't have to find out the output equation we have to only find out the input equation so our task is a little bit easier but at the same time our task is tough because we have to find out the next state values depending upon the values of the J A K A J B and K B you will get this thing when we will move to our state table so without wasting any time let's move to our step one S T E P step one in step one we will find out the input equation and the input equation is nothing but the expression for j a k a j b and k b so first i will find out the expression for j a which is very very simple it's simply q b you can see q b is connected to j a so j a is equal to q b now i will find out the expression for k a k is what it is the output of this AND gate and the two inputs to this AND gate is JA here it is JA and this input is X complement X is my input X is my input and I have taken the complement and then I have given it to this AND gate so the output of this AND gate is X complement JA which is equal to KA so I will write KA equals to X complement JA a we are done with the a flip flop now we will move to the b flip flop first i will find out jb it is equal to x complement and kb is the output of this xor gate let's see what are the inputs of this xor gate the first input is qa and the second input is x so the output is x xor q a so k b is equal to x xor q a this is my odd ones detector i can also write it as x complement q a or q a complement x so we are done with our step one in which we have find out the different expressions for our different input now we will use this to find out our state table and finally by using the state table we will have our state diagram now I will copy this expression so that I can paste it near to my state table and I will use these equations to fill the state table so copy and then paste now let's take it near to my state table I have already made the state table so that we can save some time okay it will work here fine now you can see the present state is QA QB X is my input and QA plus QB plus is my next state so let's find out what is the next state by using the characteristic table of the JK flip-flop for that we have to find out the values of J A K A J B and K B so let's start with J A J is what it is simply Q B so whatever be the value of Q Q B it's going to be J A so I will copy Q B and I will paste it here now we will see for K A K A is X complement J A so let's check what we have X complement J A here this is x this is j a the complement of 0 is 1 and it is ended with 0 so it will give us 0 0 0 will give us 0 again 1 1 will give us 1 0 1 will give us 0 1 0 will give us 0 0 0 again 0 1 1 it is 1 
and finally 0 and 1 is 0 so we are done with j a k a now we can find out the next state values of a flip-flop so let's do it you already know the properties of the jk flip-flop or the truth table of the jk flip-flop so by using it we will find out the next state and uh, let's check for this first case when q a q a is 0 we don't have to see q b because it is the present state of b flip-flop we have to find out the next state of a flip-flop so we have to see the present state of a flip-flop so we will see q a q a is 0 and j a k a both are 0 it means the memory state the next state is going to be 0 so q a plus is 0 and uh, for this case q a is 0 and j a k a are again 0 0 so again the memory state q a is 0 j a is 1 k is 1 it means toggling and in toggling we just take the complement of the present state so 0 is the present state taking its complement I am having 1 and uh, for this case q a is 0 j is 1 k is 0 so simply q a plus is 1 again 0 0 that's why memory state q a is 1 so it's going to be 1 0 0 memory state q a is 1 again it is 1 and uh, 1 1 toggling 1 is the QA so complement of QA is 0 so because of toggling I am having the next state as 0 and for the last case 1 0 and the QA is 1 no problem the next state is going to be 1 so to fill the values of next state you must know the truth table of the JK flip-flop if you don't know it I cannot help you here you have to remember the truth table for the JK flip-flop if you know the characteristic table it will work but if you know the truth table you know how we are filling these values so we are done with the a flip-flop now we will move for the B flip-flop and for that we have to find out JB and KB JB is X complement so it's simply the complement of all these values so I'm having 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 and 0 KB is the XOR combination of X and QA so it is simply the odd ones detector so we will see the odd number of ones in QA and X let's start with it 0 0 it means no ones so 0 is here 0 1 odd one is there so 1 0 0 again 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 1 1 even number of ones so 0 1 0 is again 1 and finally 1 1 even ones are there so 0 now we are done with the JB and KB the two inputs of our B flip-flop and by using it we will find out the next state that is QB plus so let's start with it and uh, we will now see the present state of the B flip-flop which means QB so QB is 0 JB is 1, KB is 0, it means QB plus is 1, QB is 0, JB is 0, KB is 1, it means 0, again 1, 0, it means 1, 0, 1 means 0, 1, 1 is toggling, toggling means the complement of the present state, present state is 0, and uh, we will take its complement, so it will give us 1, 0, 0 is memory state, 0 is the present state, so we are having 0 as the memory and uh, 1 1 again toggling is there I have to take the complement of 1 so it will give us 0 and finally 0 0 the memory state present state is 1 and it's going to be 1 so this is the complete state table we are done with the step number 2 also and the final step is to make the state diagram by using this state table and as there are two flip-flops there are total four possible states and these states are S0 which is 00, zero QA, QB, S1 is 01, S2 is 10 and S3 is 11. I will make these states here and by using this state table we will see the transition in the state diagram. So these are my four states okay and uh, this is s0 so 0 0 this is s1 0 1 this is s2 1 0 this is s3 so 1 1 now let's see for the first case when the input is 0 and we are on s0 
0 0 means we are on s 0 we are here and the input is 0 so the next state that is q a plus and q b plus is 0 1 so from 0 0 we are going on 0 1 like this okay and the input is 0 simply now we will see for this case when we are on 0 0 it means s 0 and the input is 1 in this case the input was 0 and it drived us from s0 to s1 now if I make the input 1 what I am getting is the same state the next state is same as the present state so I am going to be on s0 when the input is 1 and uh, when I am on s1 0 1 is my s1 and if I make the input equals to 0 I am going on 1 1 it means I am going on s3 if I make the input equal to 0 and when input is 1 and I am on s1 the next state is 1 0 it means it is s2 so I am going to be on s2 from s1 if input is 1 now let's check when we are on s2 and the input is 0 we are going to be on s3 so from s2 I am going on s3 when input is 0 and when I am on s2 and input is 1 I am going to be on uh, s2 itself so the same state if the input is 1 and for the last case when I am on s3 that means 1 1 if input is 0 I am going to be on s0 wow so this is s0 when input is 0 final case when I am on s3 and if input is 1 I am going to be on s3 so I am going to be on s3 if input is 1 so this is the complete state diagram for the circuit that I have made and this is a proper way to deal with the sequential circuit in this case we have to do a little bit of extra work because of this next state we have to find out this next state depending upon the values of j a k a j b k b whereas in case of d flip flop the next state the next state q n plus 1 is simply equal to the value of d so there is no need to see the present state and see the values of j a k a or j b k b this is the extra work that we have to do in this presentation but we were lucky that we don't have to find out the expression for y otherwise there may be one more column for y that is our output and we have to see for the output also so that must have taken four to five extra minutes of hours so this is all for this presentation i will end it here see you in the next one